In this lesson, we define the material master to represent our complex product. We examine the design considerations in deciding how many configurable materials are needed, the selection of material type, and the production strategies. The YouTube version only introduces the design considerations. This diagram describes all the main elements that make up a complex product. Subsequent lessons will teach you the detail of each aspect. In the diagram, all the boxes in red relate to the variant configuration functionality, while those in blue relate to the standard SAP objects like materials, bombs, routings, pricing, and sales documents. In this lesson, we are defining the configurable material master. This is the central object of our modeling. Once the configurable material is created, we use it to define the super bomb, super routings, and the configuration profile. The variant class type 300 containing our options is assigned to the configurable material. Standard pricing for variant configuration uses the configurable material as the central object. In deciding your configurable materials, the question is, how many do I need? At one extreme, you could have one material that could be used for the entire product offering of complex products. However, is that practical? This question can be answered yes or no. It will depend on your business and, to a large extent, the range complexity. For example, if you manufacture bikes, you could have one configurable material for all the bikes that you sell. Using our bike example, we manufacture the following range. S simple bike for kids, standard bike for adults, training bike with more features than the standard bike, intense road bike, revenge mountain bike, and penny farthing. What do we need to consider? Reporting. Many of the standard SAP reports are based on material number. So if we have one configurable material for all the bikes, it can be difficult to know what models we are selling in standard reporting. There can be ways around this by using other functionalities such as material determination, exits and other methods that may alleviate some of these issues, but you could end up with some invisibility in your reporting. Rule complexity. A single configurable material can add more rules, tables and greater complexity in the super bombs and routings. For example, to build the penny farthing would be quite different to a revenge mountain bike. This can require additional testing of the model to cater for these differences. The user experience. It adds additional choices that must be made for the user to order the product. For a very complex product, this could lead to significant time to work through the options if you choose to have a single configurable material. Maintainability. A single configurable material may need multiple updates as each major product group changes. This could be harder to coordinate the changes if they overlap and have different resolution dates. Thank you for watching the free introduction of this lesson. Visit our website for more details on getting this and other lessons on SAP Variant Configuration.